Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends of the Lord, draw near to God with honest hearts. Our sin confess to God our Father, praying to him through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to forgive us. Lord, help us. God made heaven and earth. Your law breaking, confess to the Lord. You forgive all my sin. Almighty God, Father of mercy, I am a humble, grieving sinner. I confess to you all my sin and law breaking. My sin insults you. I truly earn your punishment now and always, but I am very sorry for my sin. I want to repent. You have much mercy. Your dear Son, Jesus Christ, is holy, innocent, suffering, and death. I pray for mercy. Forgive me, a humble sinner. God called me to serve His Word. You have confessed your sin. I announce God's continuing love for you. God forgives all your sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> I will sing about faithful love and right judgment. I will make music for you, Lord. All the earth shout joy to the Lord. Gladly serve the Lord. Come to him with singing. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. We are His people, the sheep in His field. Enter His gates with thanksgiving. Enter His house with praise. Thank God and praise His name. Because the Lord is good, His faithful love continues forever. His faithfulness continues through every generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will continue forever. Amen. Lord, Father, show mercy. Christ Jesus, show mercy. Lord, Holy Spirit, show mercy. Glory to God in heaven. Peace to your children here on earth. We praise, honor, worship, and glorify you. Thank you for your glory. Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, Lord, your only Son, Jesus Christ, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Accept our prayer. You reign in equal power with God the Father. Have mercy on us. You only are holy. You only are the Lord. Christ Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, the Trinity together is glorified. Amen. The Lord be with you with your spirit. We pray. King of glory, Lord Almighty, you are high above heaven in victory. We pray, don't leave us alone. You promised God the Father you will send the Holy Spirit. Now send us comfort. Send your spirit of truth. We pray in your name, Lord Jesus. You live and live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> First lesson is from Acts chapter one. Then the disciples went again from the Mount of Olives to Jerusalem, about one half mile away. 
they entered the city and went to the room where they lived. The apostles were named Peter, John, James, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, Judas the son of James. These eleven men, the women, Mary the mother of Jesus, and Jesus' brothers, all agreed together and prayed always. Peter stood up and spoke to the believers, about 120 people. Peter said, Brothers, the Bible words must happen. The Holy Spirit spoke through David about Jesus. Judas led people to arrest Jesus, and Judas was a disciple with us, and he did this ministry. After Judas betrayed Jesus, he bought a field and fell, stomach burst open, spilled out. All the people in Jerusalem heard about that, so they gave the field a Hebrew name, Akel Dama, which means field of blood, because Judas died there. Peter said, the book of Psalms says, Let his house become empty, let no one live there, and let another man have his work. So now one man should become a witness with us about Jesus' resurrection. That man must have been with us for all of Jesus' ministry, starting with John baptizing Jesus, until Jesus went up into heaven. So the believers chose two men. One was named Joseph, also named Barsabbas, also named Justice. So three names for one man. The second man was named Matthias. So the believers prayed and said, Lord, you know all people's hearts. Show us which man you chose to become an apostle after Judas left and went to his place. So they threw dice, and that showed Matthias. And he became one of the twelve apostles. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, if those two things must know about Jesus? Yes. Yeah. Peter said, we have to choose a man who has been with us the whole time, starting with Jesus getting baptized from that time, the beginning of his ministry, until Jesus died, was raised, and ascended into heaven. So the twelve disciples were with Jesus, followed him. But there were also more people who also followed Jesus and saw everything that Jesus did. So from that group who saw everything, the believers, the church chose one man to join the twelve apostles. So, yeah, Matthias saw everything that Jesus had done. That was an important requirement. The second lesson is from 1 Peter chapters 4 and 5. My friends, don't be surprised when suffering happens to test you. That is not a strange happening. But be happy because you join in Jesus' suffering. Then you will be full of joy when Jesus shows his glory. 
But if people now mock you because you belong to Christ, you are happy because God's glorious spirit is in you. You should not murder or steal, do evil, or bother other people's business, and then complain you are suffering. But if you suffer because you are a Christian, don't feel ashamed. Praise God for that name. Now is the time God begins judging his people. And if God begins with us, what will happen to those people refusing to listen to God's gospel? If it is hard for righteous people to become saved, what will happen to wicked people and sinners? So if God lets people suffer, let them trust God to take care of their souls and let them do good. Be humble under God's almighty hand. Then, at the right time, God will honor you. Give Him all your words, because He takes care of you. Continue, awake, and be careful. The devil is your enemy, the same as a hungry lion searching for some person to destroy. Resist the devil. Continue strong in your faith. You know your Christian friends all over the world suffer the same as you. Yes, you must suffer for a short time, but then God will make you perfect, strong, and support you. God is full of love, and He called you to experience His glory in Jesus. He has all power forever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I think I heard a dog in here. <coughs> it's about to rain. You know, the storm was kind of, mm. there's thunder outside. <laughs> I know my faith is founded on 
Jesus Christ, my God and Lord, and this my faith confessing, unmoved I stand on his sure word, man's reason cannot fathom the truth of God profound, who trust in subtle wisdom relies on shifting ground. God's word is all sufficient, it makes divinely sure. And trusting in its wisdom, my faith shall rest secure. my faith, dear Savior, for Satan seeks by night and day to rob me of this treasure and take my hope of bliss away. But Lord, with you beside me, I shall be undismayed. Chapter 1. It named all the different disciples. Their names, the, the 11 apostles. And then it says, All these men, the women, Mary, Jesus' mother, and Jesus' brothers, all agreed together and prayed together always. Now, in, in the church here, what happened last Thursday, we celebrate and remember Jesus' ascension into heaven. Remember Jesus was crucified, died on Good Friday. Easter Sunday, Jesus rose alive. And then for 40 days, Jesus 
appeared to the disciples so the disciples could see Jesus, talk with Jesus. Jesus could show them that he truly was alive. And Jesus could continue to teach and encourage them. Well, if from Easter Sunday you count 40 days, that goes until last Thursday. So Thursday is when we celebrate Jesus ascending into heaven. Now, this lesson describes what happens after Jesus ascended. Well, there's 10 days between Jesus ascending and the Holy Spirit coming on Pentecost. There's 10 days between there. And Jesus had told the disciples, go back to Jerusalem, stay there. Don't do anything, don't leave, don't preach yet, just go back to Jerusalem, stay there, and wait for the Holy Spirit to come. Wait for power from heaven to come on you. Stay there, and wait, and wait, and wait. They didn't know how long. Jesus didn't tell them, stay for 10 days. Jesus said, stay there and wait until power from heaven comes on you. So what do you do while you wait? And how long you have to wait? A week? A month? Two months? A year? And Jesus said soon, but how soon? They didn't know. So what do you do while you wait? Watch TV. Yeah, that's what we do. Watch TV. Play on the computer. Maybe call people on VP. Maybe clean the house. Map. Map some more. Map some more. Play games. Watch more TV. After Jesus rose, so between Easter and Ascension, one time Jesus told the disciples to go to Galilee, and Jesus will go there and meet them. And so the disciples were sitting around waiting for Jesus to come. They decided to go fishing. Do something. Don't just sit there bored, right? Well, I mean, what are we doing now? We're, we're starting to open up a little bit, but still, you know, many governments are still ordering stay home. All the businesses are not open yet, and people are getting kind of tired of being stuck at home. What do you do? Normal life is on hold. We don't like that. We like our normal life busy. So everything is on hold. Now there's, there's a saying that a not busy mind is the devil's uh, workshop, meaning if you're not staying busy, if you're just kind of, the devil has an opportunity to get in and work. Uh, that might be true. You know, if we have nothing to do, if we're bored, sometimes uh, our heart, our mind can stray into temptation and we get in trouble. So, what does God want us to do right now during whole time? What do we do?
look and think about if God still has something for us to do right now. Um, in general, if we are not on hold, what does God give you to do? And God gave the apostles a job, right? They were supposed to witness about him. That was the work that Jesus gave them. Well, God gives us work also, right? We have different jobs, different roles. Husband, wife, brother, sister, mother, father, son, daughter, friend, employee, neighbor, volunteer, teacher, worker, encourager, helper. Lots of different roles, right? Depending on our relationship with people. We have many different roles. And so, because of those different roles, we have work to do. But there will always be problems that come up. There will always be disruptions. Right now, of course, it's COVID. And that's disrupted everyone. But even in your own life, when there is no pandemic, we still get sick, right? And you'll get the flu, and then your life is on hold for a week until you're better. Then what do you do? Or maybe you have a job, but then you get laid off. What do you do? Or you know, there are other health problems. Or you know, there are other reasons why our life and our roles become disrupted. Then what? For Jesus' disciples, their whole time was waiting for the Holy Spirit to come. Or later, it would be persecution, when the Jews or Romans or other people persecuted them and tried to make them stop following Jesus. We can either, you know, when that happens, we can either continue being attentive to God's work that he gives us. Or we can say, oh, there's too much trouble, too many problems, too many hang-ups, just drop it. Well, obviously, continuing to be attentive to his work is what he wants us to do. How do we do that while we're on hold? Well, there is still something that we can do to prepare for the work that he gives us. Remember that Jesus called you to belong to him. And your time, your days, your hours still belong to him. He still has given you work to do. So first, most important, we want to continue keeping our eyes and our hearts on him thinking about him and his work. What did the disciples do? They continued meeting together. They didn't say, eh, there's nothing to do, so I'm just going to stay at home and watch TV. No. They met together. They prayed together. They worshiped together. They fellowshiped together. They were still and they planned for the future. This was the time when Peter said, Scripture says that Judas would go away and someone needs to replace him. So let's do that. And so they met and they chose Matthias to replace him and become one of the 12 apostles. So they were still busy attending to God's work. Even though they couldn't go out and witness yet, they were still attending to his work. This morning when you came in, you noticed what was sitting out there? Yeah, fire truck was sitting out there. Do you know what they were doing? They were, um, they were busy checking everything. 
they, I mean, they're not fighting fires 24 hours a day. They have a lot of downtime. So what did they do during that downtime? They're busy checking their equipment, checking the truck, checking everything, making sure it all works perfectly. So that's what they were doing out there. Did I hear something? Light. Okay. Pretty close to here. I heard it. I'm like, what? Yeah, light is pretty close to here. That's the bottom of the hill. And I know they're out there, but I uh, didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, I know the fire truck was always doing something, you know. Yes. Always doing something. There's always work to do, always something to do. Even if you're not doing your main job of fighting fire, they still have inspections, um, checking their equipment, and so forth. Always doing something. Preparation for the main work. And so we also right now have downtime on hold. That means his work is on hold? No. God is still working. He is always working. Yes. Every minute, 24 hours a day, he is always working, always attending to you and your needs, always forgiving you, loving you, supporting you. Encouraging you, taking care of you, always. And so we can rest confident in that, especially for worried. You know, like many people are worried and stressed right now at this time. Our lesson from First Peter said, "All of your worries." because he takes care of you. So we don't need to worry, stress so much. Trust him, he will take care of you. And we can continue busy also. Reading his word, studying, praying, still contacting each other, you know, how we can safely, distance, VP, whatever. We can continue doing some work in preparing. So when everything opens up again, we are more strong in faith, more confident in His promises and His word. So then we are ready and able to go to serve. God bless you. Continue attending to His word, learning and growing in Jesus your Savior. We announce our belief in the triune God. I believe in God the Father Almighty. He made heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. Jesus became a man through the Holy Spirit. The Virgin Mary gave birth to Jesus. Jesus suffered, was crucified, died, and buried under the Roman governor. Pontius Pilate. Jesus descended into hell. The third day, Jesus arose from the grave. Jesus descended into heaven and rules all the world and heaven with equal power belonging to God the Father Almighty. From heaven, Jesus will come to judge all people, both dead and living. I believe in the Holy Spirit one holy Christian church, the unity of believers, the forgiveness of sins. All people's bodies will arise from the grave, and life will have Thank you for your faithfulness, your mercy, and 
your goodness to us. You are always working. Please help us, make us faithful as you are, that we will be regularly reading, studying your word, praying, growing in you, that there is no downtime, but that we will always grow more and more in Jesus and his gift of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Please encourage those who are worried, stressed, help them to see that you are still in charge. You are still running everything and still showing mercy for your people, no matter what happens to us or what happens to the world. Please remind all of your people they cast their worries and their concerns on you, and you will love to take care of them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give wisdom for our leaders. Guide them as they work on opening things up so that we can have experience for freedom and interaction again, but without the danger of the virus spreading for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give protection for those who still work with people who are sick and those who are exposed to the virus. Protect them, keep them safe. Also give your help for those who lost their jobs. So many people right now are struggling and afraid because their income is gone. Please support and help them and give them work Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant health and strength for our people, for Chris, for Ricky, for Nancy, Chris, Paula, Sharon. Give them patience and strength to depend on you and answer their prayers according to your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you that Chris and sister can come up here and visit. <clears throat> Please give her safe travel so that she can enjoy her visit with her family and also give safe travel home at the right time. All these things we pray in the name of Jesus our Savior. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Your love offered, our love we offer to the Lord. We thank the Lord. It is good and right to thank God. It is good, right, and beneficial always in all places. We thank you, Holy Lord, Almighty God the Father, Jesus Christ our Lord. His death on the cross destroyed the power of death and the devil. Jesus rose from death and the grave. His glorious resurrection opened for us eternal life in heaven. With all angels and with all believers now in heaven, we together praise and honor your glorious name, always worshiping you. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Save us, help us, Lord in heaven, save us. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus, praise Jesus coming down in the name of the Lord. Save us, help us, Lord in heaven, save us. 
Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for having mercy on us. You made us, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to become a man. For sin you gave him on the cross for him to save us. With repentant joy, we receive salvation when Jesus gave up his body and blood on the cross. We gather together in Jesus' name to remember Jesus. We pray to you, Lord, to forgive, to make us new, to give us from your word, the Holy Spirit, faith. Give us to eat Jesus' body and drink Jesus' blood, the same as he commands us in his Lord's Supper. Hear us as we pray in Jesus' name, the same as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Jesus Christ. The same night that Judas betrayed him, Jesus took bread. He gave thanks to God, broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. The same way after supper, Jesus took the cup, gave thanks to God, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, drink. This cup is the New Testament, my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. When you do this, do it to remember me. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Christ, Lamb of God, you take away the world's sin. Have mercy on us. Christ, Lamb of God, you take away the world's sin. Have mercy on us. Christ, Lamb of God, you take away the world's sin. Give us your peace. Amen. Lord, now let your servant Part with peace the same as you promised. I have seen your saving work, which you prepare for all people. Jesus is true light for all nations. Jesus is true glory belonging to your children. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Almighty God, we ask that you will give your church, first, the Holy Spirit, second, wisdom from heaven, that nothing can stop your word, but we spread and preach your word for Christ, for his holy people to grow in faith and joy. Then, through your strength and support, we serve you and denounce your name until we die or until the Lord Jesus comes again with full glory on the last day. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, Jesus lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, the triune God, now and forever. Amen. We praise the Lord. We thank God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you, be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. 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 Fight the good fight with all your might. Christ is your strength and Christ your right.
Oh. 